Hey everyone, this is Ruan. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing how to find estimates for advertising recommendations based on a location that you're targeting for your customer or for yourself. Um, the reason why this is important is because many times when we're advertising in a new marketplace, um, we want to find specific recommendations based on the amount of people in that area, the amount of people searching in that area, and the inventory, quote unquote, of availability for advertising in that area. And not every area is the same. Every single area has a different amount of population. There's different demographics. There's different psychographics. And so analyzing this information using artificial intelligence allows you to choose this information pretty accurately and make budget recommendations pretty straightforward. So this is specifically going to refer to businesses that are targeting a local area, whether it's multiple towns or it's multiple cities or it's multiple counties. I'm going to show you how to leverage AI to get solid recommendations for advertising spends based on that information. So um, I'm going to be using a tool called Splashdash in this video. That's um, actually an AI tool that we can use. And you can see here on my screen, I can now go ahead and use it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to discuss the census data, which is a really cool feature that the tool has that allows this tool to actually connect with the U.S. census information. And that information is population, demographics, um, household income, a lot of those different types of demographics that a lot of uh, marketing agencies may want to use. So um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in um, what is the population in the first town the customer is targeting. And that's going to be the, let's say, Waterbury, Connecticut area. And what you're going to find is when I get a result back from Splashdash, it's going to go ahead and pull information from the census of how many people actually live in the Waterbury area. And so as you can see, the total amount is 114,000 people, um, which is quite a good size. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it to give me some of the other areas um, that our customer may be wanting to focus on as well. And now I'm going to have it perform the same action, just this time with the towns that the customer may want to target further than Waterbury. So now that I run that action, the U.S. Census data is going to come back and it's going to potentially give me a list of the population data for each and every single one of the towns. This is really important too, because if I want to go ahead and recommend some budgeting for our customers, they should be local and recommended based on inventory. So here's the different population data for each of the towns that are local and it's going to give me a nice little bulleted list and then it's going to show me that Naugatuck is a smaller area, Prospect is a tiny area, Cheshire is a smaller area, Plainville is a smaller area, and Southington's a kind of a bigger area. The reason why this is important is because if you're advertising you're going to want to know how to allocate your budget depending on your client's service area goals. So if I have a customer and they're asking me to promote their business in this area a majority of our budgeting is going to go towards the place with the biggest population. Granted, that's where they want to target. So in this case, that place with the biggest population would be Waterbury because it has a service area amount of 114,000 people actively living in the area. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have Splashdash put all the results into a nice table. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow me to look at a view of all of the different towns that it just mentioned and taking a look at the population combined. Now, looking at this from an advertiser standpoint, if I see that the total population is here, I would explain this to my customer that these are potentially the total amount of people that we're going to reach on a monthly basis. Now, if you're doing expectations and you're doing some some projections, you can start to look at metrics like CPM. Um, CPM, which is the cost per 1000 impressions, is how many people you can expect to reach on Meta or Google for every $1,000 that you spend. The average cost per uh, 1000 impressions is typically around $11. So that means if I was investing in Meta ads for this customer specifically, I would then know that my cost per 1000 impressions is $11. So now let's take that data and use Splashdash to determine how much budget I should spend in each area. Going back to Splashdash, I would put in the prompt, now using the CPM of $11, what monthly budget would you recommend for each town? Add to the table and provide me with the totals. So now what that's going to do using ChatGPT's interface, uh, Splashdash is going to analyze this information and it's going to do some math using the Python code that is on the GPT-4. And that is going to give me a recommendation for the amount of money that I should spend per location. And it's going to give me a total budget. So if that total budget is $2,699.50, that's what I would recommend for a customer to target these different areas because this is going to ensure that they reach as many of these people as possible with the target CPM of $11. But if we took this a step further, we can now highlight this information and we can prompt 
Now, assuming a 30% management fee, what would the fee for each town be of that budget? Most agencies charge a management fee for services that they provide. There's a couple of ways of doing this. The first way is obviously you can charge the customer the entire advertising spend. So in this case, I would bill the customer $2,699, take 30% of that out of the budget and invest the rest into the advertising for the management services that we're going to be providing. Or the second one is, is I can charge the $2,699 directly into the customer's credit card onto the different advertising platform and then charge a 30% management fee outside of that. And if you wanted to get really delicate with this, which is what I recommend for extreme clarity, you can prompt that. And now what Splashdash is going to do is it's going to take these results, the population, the estimated budget, and then it's going to show you what it's going to look like if you have a management fee associated with that. So obviously, if they want to show up in the towns with the most uh, population, that's where most of the management fee is actually going to be. So in this case scenario, if I had the total of $26.99.50, that would be the total budget that they would spend towards Facebook or Google or whatever advertising platform you are estimating here. And then I would charge an $809 fee and 85 cents. So once I have this basic information up and running, what I can now do is I can highlight this info and I can have Splashdash write a proposal for me to actually send to the customer for them to understand for these services. And what this is going to do is it's going to take the proposal information and it's going to take all of the town information, the budgeting recommendations, and then you're going to have a really quick email that you're going to be able to send that breaks down this information. Um, so it's going to include the terms that we would write it's going to include the different towns that we're going to use, and it's going to really break that down in a really seamless way so that you can quickly and effectively share this with your prospect or with your existing customer that you're working with. And I recommend making this a routine type of thing that you continue to run because if a customer is inquiring about advertising, that's ultimately going to increase their actual conversion rates and it's going to keep them happy because they're going to get more leads. And so ultimately, that's how you use uh, Splashdash to actually generate advertising recommendations that are specific to your client so that you can go out and get more revenue. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.